Does hair go thicker the more you shave it? The max up volume moves from Johnny's Chop Shop and Jaden Smith's top five haircuts. All coming up today on episode 52 of Men's Grooming Weekly. Welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time watching any of my videos, I'm Elliot Forbes, a barber based in central London. And this channel is dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man and ASMR style shaving and haircuts. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So this week's product of the week is the max up volume mousse from Johnny's Chop Shop Barbers. Now this is a really nice soft mousse. Sometimes they can go a little bit crispy and go a little bit too dry and it feels like it adds a bit too much thickness to the hair but this is definitely on the softer side it doesn't get crispy it almost just adds a little bit of extra something to the hair to give it a little bit more volume it doesn't really get add any texture to it when you put it into the hair it very quickly turns watery so that it goes into the hair and sort of sticks to it very nicely because it's not too heavy it doesn't take ages and forever for it to dry very easy to use that brush to get some nice volume into the front of it and almost smooth it into the position that you want it to because it is on the lighter side it makes it then very easy to apply then the next product to the hair whether it's a paste, a clay or a cream, something like that, it then makes it very easy for you to then be able to apply it. Sometimes if you put something that's on the heavier side and it's and it's dried into place, it's almost too hard to put the product in, but this is quite light, it gets the volume out, but then it's very easy to apply the product to it to get the real style that you want from it. You definitely would have to use something on top of this. You wouldn't just use this. It definitely needs to add like a clay or a paste to it to be able to then, to, to then finish the hairstyle off. But this is definitely a great base layer to start it for sure. And as with a lot of mousses, it works on really quite a lot of different types of hair to textures and densities. So really, no matter what your hair texture is, this, this would work quite nicely with it. Okay, and this week's hair icon is Jaden Smith. In at five, really textured, really wild. I love how it really gets that real width to it. It's got a lovely silhouette. Really like the added blonde that he's got to it to give it a little bit more depth to it. And then the fade just in the sideburn area and then the nape adds a lovely little touch to it. Then it just really accentuates the width in through there. Yeah, really cool look. In at four, I'm not a massive fan normally of dreadlocks, but I think these look really cool on him. I love the texture on through the ends and then through the roots, how it's then obviously not got that texture. It's very blonde. It adds that volume to it. I love how on the side there's a little bit shorter the dreadlocks in through there. So it's sort of, it's got that difference in lengths with it. With his face looking so fresh and so clean. I think this looks really cool. Works really well. In it three again with the dreads. But this feels a bit more of an edgier look to it. There's not so much volume in through the roots. And it looks like the dreads are a little bit tight into the head. It doesn't feel as though there's so much volume to it. And it feels like they're coming out of really quite different angles. Love the texture. Love the shape. Really cool look. In it two, I guess a little bit more generic and a bit more of a mainstream look to it. Took really quite tight in through the sides. Not really super faded up. But short enough so it brings that silhouette square through the sides. Bit of volume, bit of texture. That blonde through the top works really well. I like how the curl has sort of almost been brushed out a little bit, but still has that texture where it sort of sits in individual clumps. And yeah, it looks great on him. And in at one, I think he looks so cool when he just has his head shaved. Again, I think the simplicity of the head shave looks great. I love that he hasn't gone super faded through the sides. Gives it a bit more texture and a little bit something different about it. That allows then the pink to be able to come out on the sides as well as the top. I think a little bit more of this muted color works really well with him as opposed to when he goes with like the super vivid pink. I think the muted tone works really well with, with his skin tones. But to be honest, all of the looks look great on him. He's He's got a very versatile look and yeah, this one is probably my favorite though. And today's question is, is it true that the more you shave, the more your hair grows? Now this is a real common misconception. People often think that the more you shave, that then the thicker it comes back and that it's gonna come back super dark as well. And it's really not the case. Shaving can't change the genetics and it doesn't change it in any way. The reason why it looks so different is when you shave, you're cutting it dead straight. If we if we look on the microscope, it would have like a completely flat edge. If you were then to say wax the hair out, when that grew back, the edge that came out would actually have a very tapered look to it. So again, it feels very soft and it is thinner towards the end because of the way that it comes out because it's grown from nothing. When you've shaved it off, it's not grown from nothing. It's growing from where you've shaved it. So again, it's going to have that sharp edge to it because it's been cut by a blade. Now, of course, if you start shaving at 15, your hairs are going to be softer than what they would be at say 25. But shaving doesn't necessarily affect that. That just genetics and how your face and your hairs will change over time and they say the way that your the texture of your hair on the head changes conversely though if you were to keep wax in a certain area actually it does get rid of hairs over the long term i personally have waxed my chest a few times but i've definitely noticed the density of my hair on my chest go down quite a lot and also it takes different lengths of times for the hairs to grow some some patches grow quicker than others because it's growing from nothing but no shaving doesn't actually change the texture of the hair or doesn't make it grow back any quicker or slower that's already predetermined by who you are and the foods that you're eating and your genetic makeup. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. I am back cutting hair in Soho, so if you would like to book an appointment with me, all the links to book are down below. I would love to see you in for a haircut or a shave. Thanks so much for watching. Have a brilliant rest of your day. Much love, Elliot.